Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. If you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me at my Facebook group page. You can link get at me directly through my uh, email address, or I have a Discord as well. If you email me or message me on Facebook, I will get you that information. But my Facebook and my email are linked down in the description box below. Now, if you've seen yesterday's video, you know we played a little bit of of a game with a cauldron and I have loads of people to tell you that are going into the cauldron this time because if you don't know we played a little game on guessing who the shawl would go to that I have just completed if you haven't seen that video please do go back and check it out the person that is getting the video as most of you guessed is the wonderful Jude over at Llamas in Pajamas if you are not familiar with her please do go over and check her out she's wonderful so we have uh, Su Suzanne Lawless Mama Knows Gwes Best Gwen w Wanda Hardesty Trish Pranger Melanie J Roseanne Alexander, Sally Stevens, Allie Cat, Kelly Rose Smith, Jenny C, Tracy LG, Gia Casterline, Celestial Rogue, Mama G Gear, Mary King, DMG COTA, Mel from Lothalia's Little Hook, Allie Artifacts, uh, J. Paredes and Carla Gordon and Sarah Nickel. Congratulations, all of you, uh, for making it into the cauldron. Now, what we're here for today. I have an acquisition. I bought myself a little treat to help with the making of bags without tearing up my body so much. As I told you yesterday, my hand has been hurting me a great deal and I don't want to give up any of my crafts. So I've decided to get some tools in to help me with the things that are becoming bothersome. We got this in the mail today in a nice carrying case, which will make keeping it nice and neat and all together a lot easier for me. I really do like that. Now, I went with a cordless model because I know me and being tethered to a cord would drive me insane. Now, you might wonder what this little funky tool is. Well, it is essentially an electric pair of scissors. I can cut through anything I need to. It has two separate different heads and various sizes. That is that one. And that should be able to help me not get so much wear and tear on these hands or pushing down while uh, using the rotary cutter. Now, it does come, oops, with another bag and I'm throwing it on the floor. <laughs> it comes with a secondary battery and a charger as well. I'll pick that up in a minute. It wouldn't be one of my videos without a train wreck. Oh, and we also have, for another acquisition, my Crafty Housewives Fiber of the Month Club has arrived. So I thought, since I got you here, let's open this up together and see what lovely colors the ladies over there have cooked up this month. I did start one of the spins that I have recently dyed. And ah, this looks a lot like some of the fiber that I have been dying lately and this is oh lovely lovely Let's see if they've got a tag in here to tell us what this loveliness is unfortunately not they didn't include a tag this month so I can't tell you exactly what the fiber is I know it's wool it feels to me like it could be merino it is extremely squishy, but I will uh, look up on the website and see if I can get any information. If I do, I will have it linked down in the description box below so that you can um, know what exactly it is that I'm working with. Now, this is Happy Mail from the wonderful Christina at Bella and Chinetto. I will, of course, be linking her down in the description box below. 
I'm sorry, I have to cut through this and I don't want to cut myself. I have no idea what's in here as I did not know I had anything coming from Christina. This just showed up in my mail today. I'm sure it's wonderful because Christina is wonderful. Let's see. First thing we pulled out was this cute little notebook. has some very uh, pretty little flowers on the paper. No lines, so it would be great for doodling or writing, or what I, depending on what I feel like at the time. Let me see. Hmm. We have a card. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you very much, Christina. I keep my notes to myself. But I thank you very, very much. Beautiful card. Now. It's had a very long ride as Christina is all the way over in Italy. She is a teacher and she made me a beautiful flower. I will block this out so it sits better. It, I know it would sit better if it had not been crunched up in a package for such a very long trip. But it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Christina. And then this is a flower, but it is also a bookmark, which is really awesome. I have a few books that I am currently getting information out of, and I will use this to mark where I'm at. There's something rather heavy in here, too. Feels rather heavy, anyway. I'm not sure if this goes with the flower or if it's part of the bookmark. Or if it's another bookmark. I think it might be another bookmark. I will have to read reread Christina's note. But these are very, very pretty. It's a coaster, but there's there's flowers on the coaster. We have different colors. So pretty. Thank you, Christina. Those will look rather lovely sitting on my end tables here in the craft room. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope if you guys uh, don't already know Christina that you do choose to go over and check her out and see what she's doing over there. She's always got something going on and she's always got something to teach us being the teacher that she is. I'm going to hop on out of here. I don't have anything else finished since yesterday, unfortunately, but I will be back very soon with some more makes for you. Until then, I hope that you are crafting your happiness, and bye for now.